Hello and welcome to another edition of the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by GeneralsJoes.com with me as your host, Chris Merchandising McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Joining me today to discuss the news that Hasbro will be setting up a booth at the upcoming Las Vegas Licensing Expo 2019 is Justin, licensed to within an in- <laughs> it's really hard to say, licensed to within an inch of his life, Bell. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. Earlier today, His Tank reported that Hasbro are gearing up to have a booth at the Las Vegas Licensing Expo 2019 from the 4th to the 6th of June at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center, including content from our very own G.I. Joe. With no clear details, it's anyone's guess as to what that will look like, but we could see something related to the upcoming G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie at the show, such as concept art is used for licensed merchandise, or even a teaser poster. In all likelihood, it's very possible that we won't get anything at all, and considering the fact the movie has already hit a speed bump with the filming date, I'm not going to start holding my breath just yet. In 2016, we did have a display with all the Combined Universe brands on show, which got a lot of people excited, including me, so even if we do have some G.I. Joe presence, it's not necessarily going to lead to anything in the short term. In any case, Justin, it is common practice for Hasbro to pitch story ideas and character art to potential license holders a year prior to the original release date of the film, as was the case for Bumblebee, which was also delayed. Do you think Hasbro and Paramount have that sort of material right now, or do you think we're a ways off that currently? I suspect we're a ways off, and or if they do have it, I you know who knows what it'll look like by the time it finally gets released. I mean, Retaliation, you know, we saw a lot of kind of shifting concept art and stuff for Retaliation to the point where they couldn't even make action figures that were film accurate until wave four or something like that just because of the delays and the shifting in schedules and things like that. So I would strongly doubt that there's going to be anything kind of 100% accurate to movie designs being shown or pitched here, but you never know. I mean, it's, it, it depends, you know, on, you know, the artistic direction they're going in, but I got to say, I, I'm not not feeling real positive about it. On, <laughs> on the flip side, I mean, they must have had a bunch of this stuff kind of prepared before the director decided to film his documentary and delayed the whole production of the movie. So maybe they do have a bunch of stuff already prepared since they were kind of anticipating filming starting any time now. Yeah, it's possible that they do have all this stuff kind of in their back pocket since film. And just because filming is delayed doesn't mean they're going to delay this aspect of it as well so you know it could go either way to be honest with you i mean based on what we saw in 2016 what do you expect to see at the show over those few days you know i i got stupidly ramped up at the 2016 licensing expo because it was kind of that first taste of the combined universe Mm. idea they had mask and visionaries and gi joe kind of all together it was like the first time that visionaries was really kind of seen as a mainstream sort of thing and and so i'm trying to muzzle my expectations a little bit but uh no, I'm pretty excited. I mean, I, I suspect if they're going to show, I mean, they did mention G.I. Joe specifically, is my understanding, yeah. as far as one of the brands they'll be showing. So it, it makes sense that it would be something from the Snake Eyes movie. Um, that's really the only thing kind of pending, as far as we're aware, from a G.I. Joe perspective. So I would, you know, I'm, hopefully it's more than just, you know, like a movie logo like we got yeah. in 2016. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, it's, you know, I'll at this point, I'll take anything. It'll be nice to see a little bit more than, <laughs> than just that. But uh, it, it's a licensing expo, you know, it's not like a toy fair or yeah, anything. Yeah. So we're not going to see a bunch of product shots. It's just going to be stuff that people would be using for licensed material, which is going to be art and logos and things like that. So that may be about all we can expect. I mean, I fully expect some kind of art, but in the very basic kind of logo kind of variety. Right. And the other thing is, obviously, the way in, in 2016, they set up loads of glass kind of booths with um, with all of the different examples of the G.I. Yep. Joe merchandise and the Visionaries figures and all that kind of stuff. What, what made me laugh is you had the G.I. Joe box, which was all had all sorts of different things in it. It was packed. <laughs> and the Visionaries, they just had like the Visionaries, one of like the vehicles and some of the figures. And I'm like, damn, were there really not that... I suppose there wasn't that much merch to go around with the, the Visionaries, which was uh, surprising. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know. There was, there was more than what they showed there. Yeah, there I mean, were there comics. Was, there was a, yeah, there was comics. There was was it a wave of figures or something? I mean, I've I've got yeah, them all. One, I, don't, one, yeah. I don't 
recall how they were broken up into waves, but yeah, I think there was one wave of figures, and you know, there was a half dozen vehicles or something. So I mean, there was there was some stuff. There was but... enough to put in there. They just didn't put much in there. Exactly. They, prob- yeah, they, they probably, probably were like, they were probably like, oh god, we've got we've got to fill this with with something. It was only a week away. We someone get on eBay and buy as much exactly. visionary stuff as you can. Here, here's your hundred dollar budget. Buy whatever scraps you can find. <laughs> and, yeah. It does almost look like they've got a shirt in there or something. I'm looking at the pictures now, and and I, I don't think I've ever seen a visionary shirt. It'd be kind of cool to get something like that. Oh, there's another that 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 really bugs me when you see like a, a t-shirt or something that you knew, just knew did not exist back in the day. You'd, right. have, you'd have bought it if it was available. Exactly. And there was a I think it's a Night Creeper t-shirt that appears in a GI Joe leaflet for something. It's got nothing to do with the t-shirt. The kid's just wearing a Night Creeper t-shirt. Yeah. And it's amazing. <laughs> and I've yeah. always been thought like how the hell where is that? I want I haven't even seen it for sale on eBay or anything. So that must have been like the no only kidding. one they ever made anyway I'll, was. I'll try and dig that out for the news burst images are you concerned we haven't heard any casting news yet do you think they've completed that part and just keep it under wraps for now or do you think they are actually they haven't actually even touched that yet to be honest they were supposed to be filming now so i mean True. you would think there would be some kind of casting news now you can't film without a cast and got to make those decisions ahead of time to make sure actors schedules are free and stuff like that i i can't even fathom that they don't have people cast in some of these roles. I don't know if it's just not been announced yet or if it's really being kept under wraps or or what's going on, but um, it seems really odd that we've heard nothing considering that you know, for all intents and purposes, we were supposed to be going through the process of filming. Wasn't it supposed to start like pretty much any time now? Yeah. I thought it was the spring or something. So, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Even though the director's kind of you know garbage screwed up filming dates, you would think they would have at least had a cast ready to go i wonder if they have cast it and then when that happened they they were like they're they're maybe about to reveal that this this is going to be the actor these going to be the actors or whatever and then as soon as the director did that like okay hold on for now hold it hold hold off for now and let's yeah let's reevaluate or i mean you know depending on cast availability how do they know each of those Mm. actors is even going to be free in this new window of time i mean they've got to work with other movies and other contracts and stuff so they may have had to make changes yeah that that could be something that we find out later on and and are like exactly we we could have had that person oh that's a shame (laughs) (laughs) and it's funny whenever stuff like this happens you're always hypothesizing about what might happen and then after the movie is made you always find out that some of these hypotheses were were true it's just people weren't you know really talking about it and yeah and you would think that you know after the movie comes out and everything and and uh you're gonna find out some of this like what what chaos it was behind the scenes because even though we're not hearing much about it out here i'm sure there's work being done behind the scenes and and this is causing some sort of desperate scramble yeah. somewhere along the way i would think i hope there's some sort of desperate scrambled egg going on do you <laughs> do you expect to see much more in the way of licensing the brand before the movie comes out or do you think hasbro will hold back for the time being uh, i suspect they'll hold back for the time being i mean i think they want to do that stuff probably closer to release which obviously isn't going to be next march or whatever they were claiming it's going to be so i mean you know they, they might show a little bit of stuff at the licensing expo but i think you know whole hog branding and just for the fact because you know things change you know mm. they don't advertise one thing now and then you know 18 months from now when the movie's released have it look completely different so you know i I just don't think they're going to be doing a whole lot of that this early it's just that i mean we've had oh we we did have like a kind of almost like a deluge of like gi joe branded merchandise in a short period of time we had like the shades and the sneakers and this that and the other there was just lots of stuff just kind of pouring in even though none of it was action figure related but it was still right. you know branded and, and and official and so on and so forth yep then there seemed to be like a big stop to, there was almost like a very almost like a, the brakes were put on i mean we did get the snake eyes and storm shadow sneakers as well yeah but again like it does feel like you know whatnot toys have only just come out to say that they're going to be they are going to go ahead with the figures and they're going to be shipping them but they had to make changes like very much to like the to the designs of things is is it a little rudderless at the moment the gi joe brand is that why we're getting sometimes we're getting some branded stuff sometimes we're not sometimes they're having to change it sometimes there's 
you know, it just seems like it's all over the place, doesn't it? Oh, it totally does. Yeah, it's kind of a, a shotgun approach where they're just blasting their license to anybody who will, you know, make some sort of product. Um, part of the deluge, I'm wondering, and, and this could be just me totally not knowing how the hell the industry works, but I'm wondering if they were trying to get some of that licensed stuff out before things really ramped up for the movie and maybe they wanted to gear most of their licensed stuff for movie-related merchandise. So there was kind of that flood of sneakers and yeah. vintage-oriented things so they could get that out before the... Um, That's a good point, it's, yeah. It shifted to movie stuff before they realized there was going to be a delay, but um, I don't know. I mean, I just I may not know how the industry kind of works with that sort of stuff i know in, in many cases especially like the marvel movies and the dc movies you're often seeing vintage things in conjunction with the movie things they kind of go alongside each other it's not one or the other yeah so i don't know you just you just compared marvel to uh to hasbro that's hilarious <laughs> um, okay so <laughs> well we will you know as soon as we get as soon as that uh expo kicks off and we start getting images come through you and i will be jumping all over that like the hasbro Absolutely. correspondence that we are <laughs> to get that information out as quickly as possible I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing something i don't know what that's going to be but i do hope we do see something movie related so that we know that even though the director's kind of bailed on it a little bit that mm-hmm. we are moving kind of forward in that that kind of uh in that kind of way so like i said we'll bring you whatever we come across on the, over the 4th and the 6th of june Justin, thank you for jumping on. Really appreciate it. Sure, not a problem. Thank you. That's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, Justin Bell. See you next time. And as always, full merchandising rights, Force. (laughs) That's a mouthful. It is. And that's staying in at the end as well. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force